Murray Clem. to get us underway for a place in round two. Fantastic lob to start this match off. Well played point there from Ishioka, getting control of that, but beautiful feel on that forehand lob. Yeah, it really was. That's Jamie Delgado, of course, been alongside Andy for a, a number of years. Quickly caught a, a picture of Shane and Nunn there as well. Andy's physio he does have one of these player suites as a former champion. I, the way I believe it, it's the seeds and former champions, so one of the VIP suites that surround this court. So he's been checking out a bit of tennis. He was watching the uh, Zverev Anderson match yesterday. Fifteen. Andy playing pretty far back in the court there. He's going to have to, I think, move up to the baseline a little bit. Shiok is one of those kind of players you have to make miss gets control of those points, he can hurt you pretty bad, especially on the forehand side we saw there. Good week last week. Of course, the Masters 1000, the Western and the Southern Open, normally played over in Mason, Ohio, was relocated here to New York to set up a three weeks of tournament tennis in this controlled environment. Had a, a couple of very respectable wins over Francis Tiafo and Alexander Zverev before losing to Milos Raonic. I was pleased just to get the matches, Andy, after, of course, a fairly Long break from tour tennis, also the body held up. That was good news for the former world number one. Another box ticked. I guess you're never quite sure, are you, Jan Michael? It's Certainly. very different from playing some of the exhibitions that he's been involved in back in back in Great Britain. Different kind of tension to a, a, a tour match. Yeah, definitely. Those, uh, those exhibitions you guys were holding over there at Battle of the Brits. Thought there was some good tennis there, but I think that obviously tournament play is a lot more pressure forces you, you know, to try to find your best tennis. Definitely good wins last week in the Cincy event. Obviously losing to eventual finalist Raonic is not a bad loss. A few of these points here. Nice play by him. A tough higher volley, but yeah, the two, as you say, just slightly more aggressively in this opening game. It's fairly lengthy exchanges, game points. Andy Murray. Juice. A couple of big forehands, and that's an example of Ishioka being able to really take that ball off the court. He's got some good control of the spin. Watch this ball go into the alley there. Nice and tracked down by Murray. Ishioka playing a solid point. Yeah, one of the smaller guys on tour, just five feet seven, that's 170 centimeters, but 
generate some decent pace off that 400. Super quick around the courts in the Shioka. That's one of his strengths, his movement. Excellent. A battle. on the right baseline that was called A. It is just long. Well, slightly different system, isn't it, on uh, Arthur Ashe Stadium compared to last week? And again, Advantage. Just... Well, I think that he thinks that it was going to be an automated call, but yeah. there are umpires out there on the lines, so it's it's more like. No, it's missing the memo there. It's just the two big courts, isn't it? That's the yeah. Difference. It's just a, it's just I believe Armstrong and here, where they have actual people out there on the court. <laughs> we do have the Hawkeye technology too. Go to the chase review if we need to. It's a little different from last week where we had Hawkeye Live the 12 cameras. The technology automatically calling the lines and uh, activating the stadium audio with the app call. Game line. Decent start, just feeling his way in. First game. When you saw this draw, John Michael, was this a, a match you, you have Murray as favourite in? Yeah, I, I, I would obviously have him as favorite. I think he can draw upon a lot of his experience to get through a match like this if he's, you know, physically fine as as you know we saw in the Cincinnati event uh, that he looks solid and, and injury free. So I think that that's a match he gets through. But it's it's not as quite as simple as one might think. And as you've seen here, Shioka able to t take control of these rallies and he's not getting the ball deep enough. He's going to be in trouble in some of these points, especially playing as far back as as he has been so far. But I feel like he's uh, Lee, I feel like he's feeling his way into this match. Uh, it doesn't look like he's hitting the ball as hard as he can yet. Uh, you know, getting a little bit of a feel of the court. I don't know how much time he's spent you on this court yet. Yeah. It's so all part of just getting into the match. It was a good play for Nishioka to, to receive. So he does on serve. 24-year-old lefty. They're not inside the baseline of that backhand. Some of those balls are going to set up real nice for him to just rip. Sometimes it's just about getting through that first game a little bit better. Lovely camera angle, isn't it, to get a sense 59. of the fact that we've got two players with a lot of court craft on display today. Exactly. We saw that Andy Marie actually give Nishioka a taste of his own medicine. Some nice angles from Andy there, testing that backhand out for Nishioka. Nice answer in that last one. And forcing Nishioka to paint the lines between these points so far. Not a bad thing, really. You make your opponent hit the lines to win those, those points, shrug your shoulders, move it on to the next, and force him to do that for five sets. Not the easiest thing to do. No, it's going to be a long day for Nishioka if he's to come through with that kind of tennis. It's going to be a pretty good engine, Japanese player. Challenge for Andy, of course, today. Playing best of five, it was best of three last week. Does have the advantage of the rest day, of course, at uh, Grand Slam level. So we'll play today. 
Tuesday if he wins day off tomorrow he'll be back Thursday so that will help the body a little bit sense of how dangerous he can be. I like that camera angle as well, John Michael, because it, it, it illustrates a nice point you were making earlier today. He can create some nice angles, can't he? Yeah, he really can. I think that he's, because of his shorter stature, you know, 5'7", five, five, you said, it's he's got to figure out other ways to kind of compete with the guys on tour, have that big power and big serves. Ishoka doesn't have the big serve. Makes a lot of first serves, though, and has to take control of those angles when he can. So we'll see him get in there and make those types of shots a lot. Let's go. Andy can kind of move up on the baseline a little bit and get the ball a little bit deeper. However, it's going to be really hard for Ishiba to continue to hit those types of angles. One former champion to another, Marin Cilic behind the mask. He's a former champion, of course. He's got the, uh, the courtside suites as well. Those courtside suites are usually taken by fans and sponsors. A lot of people up there having a good time watching this tennis. It's, a, it's a, I think an interesting use. Felix Sergei Aliassim, potential second round opponent. The winner of this one is second on 17 today. It's good speed up the court. Nobody particularly needed it on that occasion, but uh, if you're going to play the drop shot, it's got to be good against this guy. 13, Sasha Zvera, a winner on this court. Looks like it's lunchtime for the German. Beat uh, Kevin Anderson in four sets yesterday. A tough first round battles. Yeah, good test, good confidence boost after the defeat. It's one of the Murray in uh, the Cincy event, especially the nature of that defeat those last couple of service games. Zvera was five double faults he threw in. Second serves. Shaky when he gets tight. Oh. Oh. That forehand wide for a little bit too much. 14. Oh. Say Andy, look up a little bit at the sky. It is pretty dark up there. Interesting to see if they continue to have this, this roof open. Let's make some showers. Be lucky, wouldn't we, to get through the entirety of the match without closing the roof? We'll see if it's crossed. So it's the intention of the who's running the tournament, outdoor events, and we're always going to try and play the roof, roof open whenever possible. Closer to that baseline, side baseline there in that second serve. I like that play. Got caught in the body just a little bit. That left the spin, but we'll see more of that. Andy as he gets speed on it. Shioka serve. A lot of opportunities to attack. Something he did against Zverev last week, wasn't it? On a, a regular basis, really, from the first, first ball right to the last. Perhaps as well as tactical last week, a, a psychological effort, tactic, to try and get into Zverev's head with the second serve problems too. Yeah, I think Lee is 
it's pretty simple. If you so have good. second cert issues, you do not want to see Andy Murray across the court from you. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a good sign. He's going to make you pay for that. Shot, Nishioka. I said he was pretty happy with his movement last week, Murray. Of course, that's fairly high up the list, isn't it, these days? One of the first things you look for is Joe Conta. Uh, Brit, of course, she's the actual minister. Another Brit had a Watson later today. Topspin on that forehand side. Don't usually see that, but obviously a tactic that he's, he's employing against Nishioka, get it out of his strikes. So first break points. Just yes. one off for, for Murray. Just sails long. That's exactly the kind of return he wants to hit on a break point there. That ball just missing the baseline. Go for a little depth, not that much. Some of these baseline oh rallies. The match is still in its infancy, but early on, Kishioka was controlling a bunch of those rallies. Starting to go the other way. Ah! A chance then for the former champion. Second serve this time, so he takes this on. Juice. The words right out of my mouth there, Lee. That was very patient tennis from Nishioka. Biding his time, really waiting for the little bit shorter ball to the wrong foot, Murray there. Going into a big spot in the court. Solid tennis. He's got one of those classic lefty forehands, isn't he? He's talked in the past about modeling his game on Marcelo Rios. Yes, you go similar build, similar sort of hand skills as well. Yeah, that's interesting. That's, uh, now that you say that, I see that quite a bit. A solid guy to model the game after. Oh, a really good player, Rios. I remember as well, I played him several times. I think it was Nick Bonateri who uh, suggested that Nishioka hit YouTube and checked out some of his uh, tennis. So a couple of chances come and Two go for Andy Murray. And he uh, thinks that he's starting to make some inroads to a piece. First set, just a reminder to head to the US Open app to keep track of uh, all the events around the grounds here at Flushing Meadows, usopen.org. Download that from the App Store, Google Play Store. Daily schedules, live scores, of course, stats interviews all the news stories Keep on top of uh, events here, especially on these early days in the tournament so much happening trying to uh, keep track of all the matches results around the course Today, one early in the day, Diego Schwartzman, the nine seeders into uh, another Brit, Cam Norrie. 
John Isner going out the number 16 signal was late in the day Stevie Johnson 7-6 in the fifth there's a another British face Kyle Edmund here to win yesterday last night long one we we'll talk a lot, a lot about Certainly. The tournament, how fit these guys are they're ready to go five sets those two guys were ready actually quite good tennis I thought certain order 50 aces yeah it's a good win for Stevie wasn't it he's just starting to or in recent months just starting to drift in the direction of the right oh. Really impressed with the, the Stevie's really kind of put the work in. He'll, he'll talk light of it, but he's actually put the work in. Team tennis was a really good barometer for him getting better throughout the season. By the end of it, I thought playing some of the best tennis I've seen in a while yesterday. Fantastic. Oh, just long as the foot speed on display. Amazing oh, speed coming forward. <laughs> Not able to control that. Ball deep and good wheels. Last week, at times during the, the Cincy event. It's interesting to these, these conditions. It, it's fantastic climate for tennis, but it, it is humid. So when you sit down, you can almost get a little chilly. So you can make sure you keep yourself going down there, obviously. You're like long rallies, maybe a little bit less so. But that's a good point. You talk about the, the humidity is still pretty high. A lot of sweating in the court. task in hand. Twenty-three shots that rally. And Andy's starting to unload on a few forehands. He's really changing up the spin quite a bit in these rallies. Going flat, a little bit heavier. Again, trying to take the ball out of the strike zone of Nishioka. Okay. We're already starting to see some pressure, double faults though. The fact that Murray returns so well. He shows when he knows he knows, needs to move his second rent serve around. Can't go into that backhand very too often. It's gonna, it's gonna be ripped down th through the court. Off chance for Murray. Let us press on. Remember in Nishioka's previous surface game. Let, let, for some.
nicely done. Nice move forward. And a bit of work to do with the volley. 14 setting. Definitely some nice feel on this backhand volley. Look how quickly Ishioka comes forward, knows he's hurt his opponent. Nice feel blocking that off the court. Andy almost tracking it down. Tell you what, though, the Ishioka's having to work hard for his service games right now. It's another good hold. Three games on yeah. the first half. So the first six games are shared here on Northrash Stadium. Murray probably with the better of it so far. And a couple of break points in Nishioka's second service game. Those slipped away. But as you say, Jan Michael. Japanese player, he's the one having to work a little bit harder right now. Yeah, he's tracking down a lot of balls, having to move. And he's really doing a good job of opening the court. Not quite able to take advantage of some of those opportunities quite yet, but that kind of pressure will build over the course of a set and match. forehand so far. Nice footwork to get around that. Oh. So it's a good win, Rewind to 2019, of course. All the chaos of the and uh, fourth round in Indian Wells had a good win over Roberto Batista for Goots there. He beat Felix Oje Aliasin for a back injury. He stopped him in his tracks. He beat him again on Feast, Davis Cup finals, representing Japan. He beat Goffin last year. He beat Dan Evans earlier this year. So he's very, very dangerous. Very, very good players at this. And one of those guys, if you have a slight off day. You pay. Yeah, he really can. He's one of the players and he sort of brings his same game to the, to the table almost every day he plays, you know, barring injuries. Uh, he's going to make a lot of shots from the baseline. He's going to move well. He's going to make you earn those points. And if you're a player that's a little bit erratic on the day, some of those players you named are, are big hitters. You know, those those big ground strokes and serves are missing. Ishioka is going to make your day really tough. Oh. Didn't mention was Kane Ishikori beats his uh, countryman in Cincy last year, made the quarterfinals, his first quarterfinal at Masters 1000 level. That's another good example of his quality. Good day for him. Kane was uh, very much his hero idol. 15, 14. Yeah, there's a very emotional win for Ishioka. I saw that match and after it, it meant so much to him. Murray in a little trouble here in this game. Just keep an eye on the, the shot clock. And there's a challenge here, isn't it, with uh, dealing with your own towels. And it's such a big stadium. You can see it just in the background there, down to 3, 2, 1. Time violation, one and one. And there we go. Just going to take that in his stride, no reaction. Two great points. So a time violation for Kevin Anderson on this court yesterday. There's a something the players will have to factor in. So it's such a big stadium. Oh, what a reaction. Thirteen is four hands to Eddie where he's hit this entire match. More of that as he feels more comfortable on the court. There's going to be a lot of opportunities to move inside that baseline. Those 
heavy, higher balls that Nishioka hits. Will set up a little bit. One more chance. Four-three. Came back from a set down on three occasions in the final. Fifteen. Fifteen. Not bad pace on that with the lines. It's going to be an ace. It's a nice start. Reached a career high ranking of 48 earlier this year as well. Down in Florida, beat uh, John Millman down there, the Aussie. Never easy to get past uh, John. You know, Ruben, Brandon, and Kashima had a great win yesterday, didn't he? I think that was his first Grand Slam level. He beat uh, Ugo Umber, who won his first title in Auckland at the start of the year. Well, he had that in that tournament down in Delray. Brandon Nakashima, one of the up and coming young Americans. There's a lot of good stuff to get. He's quite the competitor. Great game. Yeah, it's on my to-do list this uh, this week to try and, if time allows, go out and watch him. I've heard a lot about him, but uh, not seen him live yet. Yeah. Nice. Uh, Second for me, the return of the great American backhand. He's got a great <laughs> two-hander. We've been known in the past for having great backhands. Got away from that a little bit, but she was bringing it back. Just happy to go back to basics. 14. Get himself back in the point. Really a nicely constructed point there from Andrew In fact, volley, solid volley deep. Good response from Nishioka with that lob. I agree that he doesn't panic at these points. So backs up the break. Looking like uh, being a decent first set. Five games to three, first set. The Japanese player. I do think that that might be an issue. The, the fact that you got the early warning on the shot clock, having to go and grab your own towel is is difficult. Small thing, but the shot clock doesn't give you a whole lot of time. I do think it's important to keep the play moving, fair for everybody, but there's an issue out here. It's big club. So much windy, perspiring as well. You mentioned the weather conditions. It is 
Let's it's a particularly hot day by New York standards this time of year. This tournament is known for some of the most brutal conditions on tour. Talk to the guys that played here. towel down from time to time when you're perspiring that much. 15 love. Yeah, absolutely. This is one of the hardest tournaments to play of the year for me with this Cincinnati, Washington, D.C. You have the same kind of weather. It's just brutal to figure out how many different shirt changes you're going to go through <laughs> and what different sidelines. Djokovic next, top half of the draw. Tricky first match against Alexander Bublik. Came through in four sets. So tough connection against the world number one tomorrow. <laughs> See those points won as the longer points actually has gone towards Ishioka. Surprising. Again, yeah, for the Brits, but he has to break. Ishioka has played a good first set, serving for him five four. Oh. There's a bit of sunshine breaking through. play there for Murray. Sometimes going at your opponent is a good one. Jump to one of the sides and maybe knock off a ball. Fifteen. Second dust. Yeah. It's like gold dust, don't you, for <laughs> Ishioka, especially when you're certain with the set. Yeah, too many of those today. Yeah. He really taking control of that exchange there, getting inside the baseline. I like his positioning there in that point. Just overcooking that last forehand a little bit. Again, the defense, he has the potential, doesn't he, to drive opponents crazy. An injection of power. Ishiok is so happy to just restart the point. Just floats that lob deep. It's a tough ball to generate any pace off of. It's big forehand up the line. A couple of set points. Let's. Done enough. It was a third ace, but that called. Just uh, technology. It can't be often that Nishioka gets two aces in a game. He <laughs> wanted that. <laughs> he was on his way, wasn't he? Heading for the chair. Still set point. Oh. Oh, aggressive from uh, just leaning on the backhand. I like that play, cutting forward a little bit. 
an opponent that is so solid from the baseline, doesn't miss, it's good to force them a little bit to have to pass, especially on their serve. Yoshihito Nishioka from Japan. The world's number 49 is in business. It's a little more of a physical battle than he was hoping for. If he does turn this around, have to come through maybe four or five sets. The champion to get this second set underway. Exactly what this guy's been through to make it back to Flushing Meadows. But uh, probably worth just cataloging the journey. Of course, he first had back surgery in 2013. That was the first real sort of major issue he had. He had to go up under the knife uh, seven years ago. And then it was the hip, of course. The right hip, 2017, really the first time that became problematic after Wimbledon. Cut his season short, January 2018, had his first hip surgery, that was down in Australia. Started his comeback uh, over here in North America later that season. Back to back Love that. Second game, it's not a big start. And then of course the second right hip resurfacing surgery, January 2019, came back last summer, won the Queen's doubles event with Feli Lopez. Singles return since here around this time last year. Oh, made it, I think. That hard look there at the sidelines, a good <laughs> forehand. Mandy Murray, yeah, it's just amazing what he's gone through in his perseverance getting back on the court. I don't think there's anybody out there that's not cheering for him to stay injury free and be able to compete. Better than forehand ace. Such a Getting rid of those two double faults. Yeah. I mean, so impressive on so many different levels. But I mean, to come back, you know, I mentioned he came back to singles and since he course won the doubles title at Queens on the grass with, with Feli. But to win another ATP title, that was in Antwerp, his 46th last autumn. It's just an incredible effort, isn't it? To, to lift another trophy. It's just amazing. Absolutely. He's been such a fantastic ambassador for our sport positive outlook possibly united amidst women's tours it's a lot of good things Everything that moved forward was good initially. He got a little bit lucky with the shanks overhead. Uh, continues to cause problems. Nishioka just continuing to move so well. Just that speed around the court. Amazing. It's a pretty good lob. Okay, second serve. an early break it's gone the way of the Japanese player First game, second second. perfect start for Nishioka just so difficult to hit through isn't he for Andy today he seems to be everywhere 
Yeah, again, Nishok is one of those guys that it's, it's really tough to bully him off the court. You have to have a lot of firepower from the baseline and be able to sustain it in those rallies. Kind of wrong foot if you can't do that. If you can hit the ball bigger, I know Andy has that kind of power power in him. We've seen it a little bit today. Too many unforced errors, however, so far. Two, one of two things needs to happen. Either he needs to gain control of these rallies and start dictating and some of them winning some of the longer rallies would help. Or he needs to serve a little bit better. That first serve percentage in this set has dipped even further. 33% in that last game is just not enough. Obviously, two double faults doesn't help to start it off. If you could do both of those things, I think Andy Murray gains control of the match completely. It's, I think, easier said than done. Just backhand there. I don't mind him taking that opportunity to sort of find that range on the backhand. The shots where he could hit a winner up the line if he make it. shots you don't want to go for. So don't see the unforced error as you're referring to. Just ticking over to 18 now, twice as many as his opponent. Yeah, yeah. 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 Two games to it really is for me sort of a swap of what we've seen Andy Murray do so well throughout his career. It's kind of wear guys down, play the longer points force them to make the unforced errors and then all of a sudden flip the switch and start taking it to his opponent that's so many times so well Schenker in control and setting to love Already. To me, it just seems to be a little bit emotionally flat as well at the moment. I know we're in a very, very different kind of environment, of course. I, I agree with you, Lee. That's what I'm picking up as well. I think we've seen him kind of, you know, we've seen him kind of do the box talking before and getting, you know, somewhat agitated on the floor, talking to himself. But have expected to see a little bit of that today so far. It's very much of it. Yeah, particularly since that normally goes hand in hand with a when he's experiencing a rough period. Jim Delgado's had to have a pretty thick skin on and off in the past, but we, we, haven't, we haven't even really seen that, have we? And you know, he's talked and talked last week about trying to 13. create your own energy. You know, maybe he's just trying to pace himself because it's best of five, but. To me, it feels like he needs to bring. We're at a stage of the match where he needs to bring a little bit of that now. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. I, I, I love the Andy Murray intensity. I, I, I don't mind that the box talking about something that's personal to them. It works for them. Uh, you know, that's a thing for the player and coach to figure out. So somehow did miss the line. <laughs> 
occasion. Of course, that was keep zooming on that one. Yeah, expect Lee to see the intensity kind of ramp up a little bit for Andy. Left, left. Awesome. Now, a question Andy's capabilities to judge a tennis match and how to turn it around in his favor, of course, tennis IQ is. Second to nine. So he would trust him completely that he seems to gauge the emotional levels today. Just to see whether we, we get an injection. A bit of volume eventually. Fourteen. That's coming from. He's not just feeling physically 100%, but you never know, do you? I feel like that could be the only thing that would keep him from being his normal self on the court, obviously, the things he's gone through, but if he's out there 100% or as close as he's going to get to that, I expect him to shine through. So that's for sure. Just Four doubles now. It's set, I think it's four, isn't it? I miscalculated that. It's just ticked over to four on our stats screen. There we go. That's two, two in each of these opening games. It's usually high by his standards, too. Quite like that approach right up the middle. Minimizes your angle from Nishioka, but Nishioka getting that ball down still. He's pulled it wide. Well, he is in deep, deep trouble now. In the second set, so down a double break. Nishioka firmly in control. These faster courts, I think, actually helping him as well. And he's trying to speed up the points here. Allow Nishioka to finish off some of these points a little bit better. Nice firepower there from Andy on the forehand. Love it. A little bit too much ground to cover. It's just a great feel on that volley from Ishioka. Fifteen. Shot made it look pretty easy there, though. It's been a backspin. Oh, 
lopsided second set, this one. Still only That's nine forced errors. Ishioka in this match. So far, none in this set. I don't consider that last one a forced error. Nice return there. Saka there. Yeah, got the win last night over the Japanese. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Saki Doi, three sets. It was really late. Successful start to her campaign after the injury problems, the tail end of last week. Since he finally for him to pull out, Victoria Azarenka, champion. It's good hands again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. to come forward a little. It's fairly comfortable when he's making those moves forward. Reminder, of course, if you want to keep track of the action throughout the week, wherever you are in the world, usopen.org is the place to go. The official US Open website, online home for point by point life scoring, highlights, all the schedules daily, of course, the stats, the draws. Official tournament site, usopen.org. Can you wipe this? Can we remove the screens, please? Thank you. Ishoka so far playing a pretty flawless set. <laughs> Extremely solid the entire match. Picks him off. Ishioka's ground strokes just have a nice degree of net clearance always. He just balls back in play, gets pretty good depth on him anyway, but you look at the shot here, he clears the net by quite a bit. It's still bouncing pretty far inside the court. Such smart play from him. Still around the 40% mark for the match and this second set. Fifteen. I believe that's his first unforced error since the first set. The evidence. And Fifteen thirty. Surprising how many cheap points he's given Nishioka in this second set. Uncharacteristic kind of tennis that we've come to expect from this guy over the years. And he's been through a lot recently. Surprising after the quality he produced last week, isn't it? You, you kind of watched those matches against Tiafo and Zverev and thought, wow, he's, he's playing some good ball. It gets interesting. I don't know if the pressure, he feels like the pressure's turned on him a little bit in a matchup like this against Nishioka, where against, uh, you know, those other players where any kind of put him in there under the radar a little bit. Especially with the match against Zverev, where really no pressure on Andy Murray there to, to go and have a good result. Like fantastic tennis. Sort of pressure's on him to, to come through this one here. And Nishioka really just played fantastic tennis this entire match so far. Yes, that's a good point. We shouldn't take yes. anything away from Nishioka, who's played uh, some of his best tennis. He's had uh, a couple of top ten wins last year. We mentioned the over Nishik Kori. He was, I think, six in the world at the time. He beat Monfils, who was top ten Davis Cup finals in Madrid. I think even listening to his little you know, interview, pre-interview, how much he wants to prove that he can you know, be one of the top players, be a, a top player, and prove it to his own country, his fans. Yeah, 
Yeah, you're right. That uh, came through after that win. His ATP title it was at Shenzhen, wasn't it? 2018. Remember his uh, victory speech? He says, "Remember the name. It's not Nishikori." <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I remember that. Made a, a point of sort of announcing himself to Japanese fans. Legend. Of course, he's the first to admit how much inspiration he was taken from Kei Nishikori and he really took him under his, his wing at the IMG Academy. If you read some of the stories Nishioka tells when he first arrived, hardly spoke any English. I'm sure it was a huge bonus to have someone like Kei to hit with but socialize with too. Major confidence booster. Again, incredible court coverage. Murray trying to force his way in on that approach yes. shot, but not quite hitting it big enough, at least to get it by Nishioka there. Opened up the court pretty well with this forehand cross court. Look how quickly Nishioka tracks this ball down. Again, with such a high degree of net clearance on that roller forehand. That's good ball control. He doesn't ever seem to overplay the passes, does he? He doesn't go for broke. It's the kind of shot that even, even if you get the ball, it's kind of tough to put that ball away. Shoka might have a second look at it. <laughs> from both guys wonderful tennis a beautiful volley from Andy Murray finishing that point off continuing to go behind Ishioka on these shots smart play against a quick guy that racket right in front of his body there that's well played volley down previous points a good example of the kind of quality required yes. so far today Get the better of Nishioka Scramble out there, get the court right. This cloud's now gone. Time. And she could, could have done a lot more with the backhand. And Not a great drop shot here, but this volley, nice. Clean. The sound when that came off his racket. It's a well played backhand volley. Nicely covered that whole line. So far, Andy Murray's had some looks at the Nishioka serve, but unable to break through. Let's see if he can get a couple. Yeah, that's another pass. 
pass that finds its mark. 15 lap. Majority of these passing shots we've seen have gone up the line. I'd like to see Andy take away the line from Nishioka, force him to hit those balls cross court. Well played return there. Good depth on that. 15. Firepower. That's a thing of beauty, that backhand return when he gets hold of it, Murray. Fifteen thirty. Champion here in 2012. Andy Murray, one of three majors, of course, a couple of Wimbledon wins. 2013-2016. French Open final that season as well. Five runner-up spots down in Australia at Melbourne Park. Incredible career he's enjoyed. Starting to creep into the knee minutes. show of the game. A couple of break points to get one of the breaks back. Sophia Kennett there, taking in some of the action. There you have it. Breaks back. New boss, please. Well, that's something to build on, isn't it? Still uh, Nishioka leads four games to two in the second set. Fair bit of work to do in this second set. Nishioka with the, the luxury of the double break, but it just giving him more hope, belief. It's interesting, sometimes you battle back in a game, you know, even down 4-0, possibly going down 5-0. Nishioka had a couple of looks at the, at the Murray serve there in that last game, did get the break. Murray battled through it, showed that fight, and in, in that game there, Yoshioka, out of the blue, became impatient. A couple of unforced errors, a couple of good returns. You know, the match could actually swing very quickly if that mindset changes. Let's see if Andy can do anything with that. Yeah, if you get the hold here, as you say, having 15 laps. Strongly love four, wasn't he? Serve so almost went down 5 0. Goran is uh, courtside as well. Novak's coach, of course. 4 0 becomes 4 3. All of a sudden, different kind of feeling for Nishioka with the break. better than that, isn't it? A little too central against Nishioka in this kind of mood. 15, oh. Did finally take a passing shot cross court. <laughs> <laughs> Had a lot of time on that, that one to go anywhere with it, though. <laughs> nice serve out wide. It's a serve that Andy Murray's hit so well throughout his career. 13, 15. If you watch the shot clock, you see the cadence of Andy Murray right now. He's actually picked up his pace a little bit. Changing the tempo of these games can actually change up quite a bit. You rush your opponent a little bit just by doing something like that. Master tactician Murray. Still have a chance to narrow the score line. It's 
beautiful forehands and so many options. And again, plenty of time on that one. Just. Yeah, it's just one of those points that we feel like you could have built it a little bit more. Didn't really have enough on that approach shot. Tough service game. And serve and volley. I feel like Lee Andy's trying to do his best to be a little bit unpredictable, kind of change up the rhythm of Ishioka. Serve and volley here, approach shot there, stand a few long points, execute a little bit bigger in the ground strokes. Starting to enjoy a more profitable Did period now. Four, four zero. He's got it back to four three. Okay. Noticeably little emotional response from Murray. Just kept keeping things very low key today. Still with the break, 4 3. Oh. Oh. Well, struck back in, just missing on that one, Andy Murray, but it's a good ball. Now we're starting to get a little bit of chatter, a little more intensity in that face, I think. More, I think, what we expected, Lee. Fifteen. Interesting. A first real emotional response from Nishioka too. Perhaps evidence. Just starting to feel it. It's the second set. Served there for Ishioka to set up that easy forehand. 30, 30. Japanese player just give himself a little encouragement to that wide forehand. As he feels, just needs to raise the intensity. Make sure he finishes this second set off. That's not good enough. There we go. Bit of volume from Murray. 30. <laughs> it's another good serve. 28 miles an hour, but hit his spot 14, beautifully. 30. Ah. Oh, it's just Again, deep, yeah. and there's the hole. Sure. Potentially a very Galinas, important five games for three, the second set. hold of serve for the world number 49. And he had a very good look at that backhand approach shot. It's a shot that you would expect him to make. Day in, doubt, one of the best, day in, day out, one of the best backhands out there on the tour.
15-9. Still feel pretty good about his chances of causing problems late in this second set, given the run of three games. Had Nishioka 30 all in that last game. So important for him to hold here and just give himself one more opportunity to turn this set around. 13. Another ace there for Andy Murray. Now in this set at 50% on the first serve. Percentage is starting to climb up a little bit. I'm still looking for that percentage to get into the 60% percentile range. Yeah, I think he'd be the first to admit, wouldn't he, that the, the serving has not been good enough so far today. Five double faults in this second set. Two to open the set, remember, the worst possible start. There's two points of this second set. Another unforced air there from Nishioka, starting to see a little bit of indecision creep into his game. Making such good decisions throughout this match. They have the court there to hit that ball up the line so flat. the game that was imperative he did that to force Nishioka to serve out the second set the world number 49 from Japan Yoshihito Nishioka has put himself in a good position in this second set serving for a two set lead Let's see what he's made of Himself up on his end of the court. Two down, two to go. Oh, this big backhand there, that's the kind of backhand I expect to see more of. And I think we might see more of the handy Murray in this match. Beauty. Oh, that's a gigantic point. What a time for it there. Nishioka. Murray had control of that point but lost it. Oh, a little too short. Injection of pace off the forehand wing. Brings up two set points.
that's a good stuff. Good stuff from Murray. Let's move forward. Much better approach out there off that forehand. Well stuck volley. 14. Oh, close this one off. One more chance for Nishioka to wrap this up. Goes long. Yeah, in the second set. stands firm, and it is uh, the six game is too far now for Nishiyama. The Japanese player have two sets to love. Start to somehow haul his way back into this contest. Two sets to love down. Sets if, of course, he can find a way of turning this one around, it would require a fifth set now to move into the second round for Murray. 2019's last Grand Slam appearance that incredible five set of Roberto Batista Agut in the first round down in Melbourne. Famous, the famous farewell video, wasn't it, after that match? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so very happy to see him back out there playing. I think largely owing to the press conference that he'd given that week, where he very emotional in front of the, the world's media, revealed for the first time the extent of the, the seriousness of the hip problem and that it could be his last ever tournament. Of course, a lot of water under the bridge since then. Here we are. Of years later. It's an interesting story in one of the British papers in, in the last few days. In the Times, I think it was a piece by a well known uh, tennis journalist, Stu Fraser. Some quotes uh, given to him by Andy about the inspiration a, a surgeon had given him. Oh. After the uh, the second hip surgery, no, sorry, it was after the after the the initial hip problems, and consulted the the set surgeon, and Thirteen. was told that uh, he didn't think he'd ever play tennis again if he had the surgery. Went under the knife, and he said, that, you know, the way that was delivered, it was a little bit smug and got under his skin, and uh, in his darker moments, used that as inspiration actually to prove that guy wrong. He didn't, didn't name. <laughs> The surgeon in question said he even considered sending him a bottle of wine as a thank you. But he, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it tells you a lot about Andy's character, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, that, that does. It, uh, I'm not surprised that he reacted that way. I was hoping you had a good story from the surgeon <laughs> encouraging him to get back. But <laughs> can you spite as well? Yeah, he, likes to, he likes to prove people wrong. He's done that a few times in his career as Andy Murray. Sure has. Well, it's an even longer road back now. Yeah, yeah. Again, the problems on serve continue. Another double fault. Sixth of the match again, coming in the opening game of the set. And oh, what a wonderful opportunity now for Yoshihito Nishioka. Just hasn't really happened for him today. Still just a few too many fun forced errors. That forehand at 30 all that he missed was a very makeable shot. Obviously these double faults early in the sets are not helping him along.
Built into that second set. Nice surge coming back, giving himself opportunities to get back in the set, didn't get it done, but tennis seems to have dropped off the kid here. Himself back to 4 3 in that second set. Just start to think maybe this was going to be one of those famous Andy Murray recoveries, but looking good right now. really just wears players down. Just of the conversation between Murray and Jamie Delgado, mediocrity was the word he used to describe his tennis so far. Clearly, pretty unhappy about his level so far today. Fifteen. Maybe we'll see a bit more of that. Just. Taking a few more risks in this third set. He's got to do something, isn't he? Yeah, I agree. He's going to have to do something. I, I like that play right there. Good, good first serve going behind Nishioka on that forehand. Nice pace on that one. Close ball on the line there. No challenge. Much better serving in this game. Percentage in this set, 67%. Let that. That machine's actually going off on some of these balls that are not legs. Fourteen, fifteen. Game Murray. It's a start, perhaps. Let's we'll see where it uh, leads Andy Murray. Still training by a break. See the the draw this year, John Michael. Is it as, as straightforward as some people are saying, sort of Djokovic against the rest of the field, or do you think we might see a surprise? Well, I'm one of those guys that <laughs> always looking forward to the surprises. I love the surprises and the draws, but uh, right now Novak looks extremely difficult to beat, as he's looked many times throughout his career. So it's going to take some good tennis to do that. Uh, without Rafa and Federer in there. The win over Novak somehow, and unless we're going to see a different champion. Because I think the draw is exciting. Yeah, it's an opportunity down in the bottom half, that's for sure, isn't it? It's going to be interesting to see how Dominic team plays after his problems last week. That's a one sided defeat to Filip Krajinovic. See how Medvedev does down in the, the bottom half of the draw. Raonic played well last week. Yeah, extremely good tennis at service. Found its mark. Three games to one. These fast reports not necessarily team's forte. No, 
not, I'm not being biased here, but I would say keep an eye on Dan Evans down in that bottom section. He's been playing some good tennis lately, and the conditions will will suit him. Another reminder to follow the action through the social channels: Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Join the conversation with hashtag USA. That's a nice feel in that backhand volley there from Andy. Certain volley action. 15 and eight love. Briefly to Dan Evans, seeded 23, and the tennis of his life re rejuvenated. Yeah, I quite like Dan Evans' game for this, these courts, these faster hard courts that they've cultivated here in New York. Exhibition of the National Tennis Centre down in southwest London, not too far away from Wimbledon during the shutdown. He is so competitive. He has, he has a really good ability to generate his own energy on a court. It just, just comes naturally to him. I just wonder whether that might make a difference this week with with that element, that, that different kind of challenge here. With no oh. fans. Yeah, I think you're right. Those players that kind of build up the fans, can they find their own fire? We saw Shapo do that yesterday. He loves the fan, big crowds, feeds off those the crowd very well, but actually was pretty fired up in his match anyway. You can see him doing some good things at this year's. That the upper set with one in the Armstrong Stadium against uh, Muna, the young Spaniard, 7 6. So it's a, a tight opening set. Oh. Yeah, it's made it. 14, 15. Jeremy Shardy, the Frenchman. Rublev had a great start to his year, back to back titles. Doha and Adelaide. Felix Oje Aliassi underway against Montero from Brazil. Winner of that match plays the winner of this match in round two. Seventeen. That one on the show courts here at Flushing Meadows. Yeah, I'll just make sure he stays in touch. In touch. Set set. Nishioka still with the break in this third set. Three-two. With the new balls, then Yoshihito Nishioka. Time starting to run out for Andy Murray. Three-two. Up two sets to love. Constructed point there for Murray. Pretty, pretty patient tennis. No, no. Taking a little time to the towel off. He's going to need those shots to start working for him to get through this. Incredibly quick player, Ishioka. It's a 
beautifully constructed point from Nishioka using the width of the court so well. Just really placing that ball so ex excellently around the court. Look at the depth of this deep forehand, heavy ball there. Quick to get inside the baseline here. Flick up the line. It's too good. that we've come to admire on, on tour, the likes of, of course, John Isner, Sam Curry, Pelka, Karlovic, some of those guys. He's a really good example, Nishioka, isn't he, of how to build your game around different kind of strengths. Those guys all beaten on speed and, and certainly on the ground stroke side of things, ability to move the ball around the court, changes spins. They'll never have a serve like that. Chances here for Murray. Oh, well, well. Game, yeah. Murray. Three games on the of this. Give Andy some hope. Wonder whether that double fault maybe was, was the first signs of a little tension in the Japanese player's arm. You know how much this means to Nishoka to get through a match like this to compete at this level. So the moment can't get to you. I can play the likes of Andy Murray. Easy prospect. Yeah, this will be a huge win. Forget about Andy's ranking these days, which is obviously way lower than uh, it ever was at his best. 115 this week. Left, left. To beat the best players in the world over the last few years. Big show court here at the US Open. First match back in Ishioka after the, the tour's shut down. that backhand overhead, not an easy ball to hit. Murray just laying waste to those ground strokes. I thought we'd see more of that. Maybe we're going to see more in the sets to come if you can get through this one somehow. Bigger ground strokes there from Andy Murray. Really dictating on those balls.
Sudden pace, first of the set. That's a percentage which we've talked about from time to time, still in the high 40s. Still room for improvement, although it's like it's getting better slowly. It's a little bit better in the set. So far, 55% of the set. Too low for the course of the match. It's been many free points like that for Andy Murray in this match. A little frustration showing Ishoka. Murray gets his nose in front in this third set. Murray leads four games to three. It will feel good. Give him a little bit of belief and heart. And now a narrow lead. I feel like this is a really big game here if Mark Murray can continue to impose himself. Hey! Yeah, a little bit unhappy with that, but it's a pretty good serve, though, really, from Nishioka to set that point up. Today, there's a lot of ability off that wing. Seems comfortable going both ways, doesn't he? Go up the line and then he can, he can rip that one cross court too. Yeah, he really has a lot of control on that side, especially coming forward with shorter balls. Oh. Murray starting to be successful with rushing Nishioka in some of these rallies, some of these returns on his own serve. He's to continue to hit the ball big, in my opinion, to get through these, these points. Applying that pressure. It's a good one there. I like that play from Murray. Trusting that two-handed backhand. I don't see the reason for him to go to a slice in these situations. Again, yeah, yeah. That's just too good. Yeah, crucially finds the first serve. Four games on center. Important hold for Nishioka. He's once more not too far away from place in round two for a piece. Good game for Andy now. He's got to try and cut out the double faults that have been problematic on and off today. Try and find a few first serves. Pressure. First off. on that serve. Tough one to call. Definitely frustrating when you miss the first serve. There will be a challenge. This would be the worst possible start to this ninth game if this has just drifted along. It's a late call, but a good call. That's double fault, third of this set. Get 
another for surf here. Viewing from Jamie Delgado just got another one to news off balance. Definitely not in a position to take that ball up the line at least. Come on, Go. Come on. It's better. There we go. We've seen so little of that from Andy today. That's kind of I really thought we'd see more of that, of that, that positive kind of reinforcement we were so used to seeing from Andy Marie. Let it all out there, especially now. It's do or die pretty much in this game. That's too good. A <laughs> couple of Wimbledons, a couple of volleys there, huh? Nice confidence in that drop shot. That's with this yoke is so deep. Too much ground to make up even for him. That's by a long way, that one, didn't it? is the mark and a huge opportunity now for Yoshihito Nishioka just so used to seeing Andy Murray make this forehand right here that backhand a well struck shot setting up the forehand up the line if he can make it that ball's a winner obviously a smaller part of the court there but ball just sailing long great point Seems to be poor in this ninth game. Just wide. Murray survives. Just. I feel like this is a point in the match where you can kind of start to just hit those balls deep cross court and force Nishioka to earn those points. He gets a little bit tight. He's going to miss some of those balls wide. So Cheetah Martinez to Ruza. I think it was job done for him today, wasn't it? Yeah, four and four. She came through against Tibino, another Japanese player over on Louis Armstrong. Come on. Go. Come on. Better a couple of first serves. Ain't gonna hurt. So experienced, Murray. He knows, even though he's down two sets to love, this is potentially a stage of the match where he could start to turn things around. He can just raise his game a touch. Closing stages of this. Uh, Third set. Game. Well, it certainly wasn't the tidiest of service games for Andy Murray, but it's ultimately good enough. Just puts a bit of pressure on this year, but 5 4. Let's see whether Andy Murray can rekindle a bit of 
US Open magic over the next few moments, get himself back into this contest. It's been all Nishioka really so far today, up two sets to love, but he trails 4-5. If it's going to be anyone, Jan Michael, time. down two sets to love, playing pretty poorly by his standards, down a break in the third set, it's going to be Andy Murray, isn't it? Wouldn't put it past him. Absolutely would not put it past him. He's starting to dig in at these rallies. Oh, <laughs> that was so close. Almost. <laughs> well read on that overhead. The reaction from Murray as this hits the tape, almost painful for him to watch. Just an inch higher. And he made that. Thirteen, fifteen. Big point in the context of the game as well. Shoki getting back to fifteen all. now had a very good look at that one there makeable return there at 15 all running commentary we used to from Murray. It's probably a good sign, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's a good sign. I, think, it, I think he has something to be disappointed about, about in this game. He's raised his level already. You know, you got to make those shots, keep that pressure on your opponent. fans were hoping for but again you've got to tip the cap to Yoshihito Nishioka isn't it? any real signs of tension or being affected by tension despite being on the brink of be a memorable victory for him very level emotionally Big service game here for Andy, in my opinion. You know, get this, get the little bit of a hammered lead score-wise here, or at least play a tiebreaker. Let's see if you can get a few more unforced errors from Ishioka. Be a little doubt. Ishioka's played such a solid match throughout today. Really giving Andy Murray very little. shot here well held disguised it extremely well that front court part of the court available to Andy Murray if he could make those kinds of shots and he showed us so far back it's just at an awkward height yeah, that's an extremely difficult shot to put away from right there it would almost be better to just run back and restart the point on a shot like this
just reaching on that forehand a little bit. Needed more steps to make the shot that he was trying for. Keep those feet moving. We usually see from him. Recognising this is the opportunity he's been waiting for again. An early break in this third set now with two chances. To put himself in a wonderful position. First one saved. Oh, no, too good. That's a big forehand inside out. Wrong footing Ishioka yet again. Such a good Just play. It's the faster guy, but that's a good time for it right there. Watch here the quick footwork that he has not only coming forward, but nice set on that open stance. start to that point. I mean, how about the return? What kind of angle was that? I, I, I have a hard time believing that return actually found the line and the response from Andy Murray, that forehand get was unbelievable. Okay. What a play from Ishioka. Yeah, again, it just resets so well, doesn't it, in these points. Back to the grindstone. Third chance to break. Tricky on the backhand side, that kind of height, having to generate a bit of pace. The yeah, I would go so far as to say that was a great follow. <laughs> Break point down, add out. That is a tough, tough ball to take up the line. Hit the right spot. Maybe you can use a couple of first serves here to get through this game. his way through a little more of that fire and I'll tell you what me watching Andy Murray I feel more comfortable with the chatter between the points is happening than when it's not I feel like when he does does that he works himself into the points works himself into the match sometimes I feel like that's the best version of himself out there Absolutely crushed that one. Just a stone cold winner here from Ishioka. Every opportunity. This forehand not quite deep enough to hurt Ishioka, and he takes advantage. Stellar footwork we see through from him throughout this match.
defense was good enough. I'll tell you what, a scramble is the exact word that came to my mind too, Lee. That was a fantastic forehand stab. Get that well-placed ball up the line from Ishioka. Uh, uh, talking about Rios at the uh, start of the match, only touch of the Rios jump backhand there. Yeah, we have seen it quite a few times. It, it, as soon as you brought that to my attention, I had not heard that before. I started to see a lot of the same similarities between Marcelo Rios. A chance for Murray. Edge ahead 6-5. Pressure. Shioka served to stay in at 4 5. And do the same now. 5 6. Backhand actually not prepared to hit a forehand there. Oh. And he's starting to make inroads into some of these points of unforced errors. Pressure unforced errors, in my opinion, appreciate. Creeping into the Nishioka game. That backhand is not a shot he's been missing throughout this match. No, it's just starting to look a little tight, isn't he, Nishioka? Second set on the return. Closer look. There's the evidence. These days you don't see as many broken strings from players because they switch rackets so often, often with new balls. You see a player go over and grab a new, a new racket. You see him, Andy Murray, switch quite often in this match. I'm surprised you see two broken strings. Not a good time for it. Oh. A bonus for Nishioka. Not a lot on the second serve, 77 oh, miles an hour. Is that game points? Opportunity to take us into a breaker. Shootout to decide this third set. So those slower, heavier balls. We saw Andy Murray start out this match with the slower, heavier balls. They honestly haven't worked for him this match. Nishoka is taking control of the rallies from those kinds of shots, seemingly dealing dealing with those balls that look appear to be out of his strike zone. He's actually getting a hold of them pretty good. Last forehand evidence of that. He's 
been successful taking it to him with a little bit faster, bigger ground strokes. See which one he employs in this tiebreaker. Nice start, positive stuff from Andy Murray. It's the first serve. It's picking up that number in this third set, 56% of serves made. Still not good enough. I'm sure he would admit that, but it's going in the right direction. Painful mistake there. The Japanese player Nishioka needs to make that forehand. One on one. Score wrong. Clearly, that ball was wide. Two zero. Yeah. Right. Lee, everybody's human. Absolutely. from Nishioka, that was a big point, trading 2-0. 2-1. Two two I've seen that a lot in this match. Andy Murray going to the backhand slice, definitely changing up the rhythm there at this point. Nishioka up to the task, able to generate enough spin to get under that ball. That's sort of a good way in the backhand. Right, with the early mini break though, 2-1. It's Dan Evans, talking about him earlier. British number one these days, of course, after a fantastic start to his year. Forehand there as a response. Three two. Again, successful going behind Nishioka with those shots. Nishioka so fast into the open court. Players like that, you have to wrong foot from time to time. Today's uh, actions with the forehand this time, the whipping it cross court. Such a good second ball there, that angle that he's able to generate off the forehand side, not just through the court, but a lot of side spin on it. Tough to track that ball down and do anything with it. This three all one. Oh. I think it might have missed this one. Understandably. 
firing up the chase review. Perhaps more in hope than expectation. Yeah, just deep. Fourth round. Nishioka this stage of the match, this stage of this breaker to get relatively cheap point. 3-4. Big forehand cross court, that shot firing point better and better throughout the later stages of this match. Four. Fantastic forehands. Oh, he's definitely hitting those with a bit more venom now. Five four. Oh. He likes it. He's nose in front now. Another. That is fantastic tennis there from Andy Murray. Those backhands, the backhands that I expect to see from him in his matches, the Six forehand put away. Four. So good. 85 miles an hour. That forehand. And some of his best tennis of the match right now. Just in the nick of time. Two set points. First one saved. Six five. Good time for a big first serve here. Flip the coin pretty much right now with the way that his percentages have been. Whether it'll go in or out. Two. Oh, by some distance. Two hours 48 on the clock for those uh, opening three sets. So fairly lengthy, particularly if we need a fifth.
early stages then of this fourth set. Key stage, you would imagine, for this guy, Yoshihito Nishioka. Rallies. He wasn't winning as many of the longer rallies early in this match. First couple of sets, especially. Finding a way in that third set to get through it. Thirteen. Does have to go the distance. Nishioka hasn't got too much experience. Five set matches, of course, still relatively early in his career. Four years of age. Turns 25 towards the end of September. He's, uh, he's only played six. Uh, Ishio can be able to surprise any during that ad court going to the forehand side. The out wide serve obviously is one of the favors. Slice now from time to time, really changing up the spin. It's clearly throwing Nishioka off a little bit. Just one three, lost three. Incidentally, those um, six five setters stuff. It's a pass looking on. There's not any victories for this year. Good five set matches beat the Kenzie McDonald, Ronald Garros, first round 2019, beat uh, Philip Kohlschreiber. A five set victory here before that was back in 2015 as a qualifier to another qualifier in the first round. Paul Henri Mathieu from France came through 6 2 in the fifth on that occasion. It's been a while since Andy played a five setter. I mentioned the one against Batista de Gout. I've been about. First round Australian Open 2019. He hasn't won one for a long, long time. Better go back to 2016. Yeah. Wimbledon quarterfinals. Sorry, beat Songa in five sets. That was a great match. I'll tell you what, I think that Ishioka would rather win this one in four than have to go to five against Andy Murray. I think that I would not favor him in that situation. Get the impression physically won't be a problem today for Murray from what we've seen at the first three sets. Looks okay, doesn't he? Yeah, I think he looks good. I think he looks extremely fit. Both these guys, I think, will have no problem playing the five sets. And kind of at that point, it becomes a mental battle, and I have to give the edge to Grand Slam champion and former number one, Andy Murray, in that situation. He's just such a great tactician and finds ways out of those situations, whether he's done it recently or not. A CV he has built over the years. Three majors, we mentioned those. Two Olympic singles gold medals in London and Rio. World number one for 41 weeks. Year end number one, that's a different kind of achievement, different kind of challenge. Won the Nito ATP finals, of course. 2016, that incredible second half of the season. He had Davis Cup winner for Great Britain. He's got the knighthood as well. What a career. I am quite young. Very young. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people are surprised that he had it that young. Not surprised that that title was bestowed upon him, but just so young in life. 14 Masters 1000 titles. That always, always jumps out at me, that one. 
given the era he's played in. Djokovic with what, 35 now after winning Cincy. I believe he's tied with Rafa. I think Federer is 28 off the top of my head. A mere 28. <laughs> but I mean, it's an amazing effort, isn't it, for Murray playing alongside those three three guys to win 14 Masters titles. I mean, but, but I it takes a supreme effort to win those tournaments. The very best in the world, matches back to back. And really, not if, not if much time in those tournaments with the whole you know, the world field being there, just two out of three sets play a bad set you can be out of the tournament pretty quickly another big forehand from Andy Murray. I don't mind that mistake right there obviously best time for it necessarily but keep going for that forehand it got him through the tiebreaker taking control of some of these ground stroke rallies Played point. I likely for him in, in this match situation where he's building the point, sees the opportunity because he's hit already oh, hit a good shot that's and right. comes in behind it, more of a sneak volley type of a, of a situation than when he's approaching. He's been passed quite often in situations like that. Very successful and points the ladder way. Points and counts. Ticks over to nine. Six miles an hour at the tee. It's not game point. Solid defense again, yes. Just yet again, Ishioka there in the corner. Well played forehand for Murray. Pretty close ball there in the line. Quick call. Very quick to challenge this one. Let's see what happens. Would be a, a second double fault to this opening game if this has missed the mark. And it's just long. Familiar territory. Randy Murray early in a set, under pressure on serve.
Touching by the body language from both. Again, I felt like that machine's been going off this match without the ball actually being let. And I'll tell you what, that overhead coming forward with this ball coming towards you is not an easy shot to make. That is well played right there from Andy Murray. Tough situation. Yes. territory. Marisha Lepo, right on the slide, the other one is pulled out. Forward, and great volley too. And again, the kind of play I love seeing out there against Nishioka when he's floating those balls in the corner off of a shot that you've already hit extremely well, recognizing that and being there at the net to put that ball away. Long to get back at the point. Considering he threw in three double faults in that one opening game. game. Pretty pleased to come through that one. I agree with you. That was a tough game to get through right there for Andy Murray, but mixed in with some obviously unforced errors, some very good tennis for Andy Murray. You don't like team getting some sun out there. Action earlier today, the second seed. Sense against Joma Munar. And 15, 11. 7, 6, 6, 3. Team going through. It's quite the serve out wide. Put a spin on that. 13, power to redirect it up the line. Nice play from Ishioka. Story out of court six earlier today, in case you missed it. Remember the name Andrei Kuznetsov. Tennis fans might remember that name. And on a protective ranking, he's been sent away. He's become the first unranked player to win a, a major match since Nicholas Kiefer, 2007. He was out for two years and seven months. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
pretty easy. And he's sure he's sure two games to one. Re-establishes his lead early in the fourth. Two one. For a cleaner service game this time around, Andy Murray. Three double faults in his last service game. Still survived though. It's a one two, fourth set, down two sets to one. Beautiful forehand. Another nice little sneak volley play there from Andy Murray, seeing the opportunity quickly be to add the net. 15. Great little thing to set this point up. Don't have to worry about hitting a big approach shot when you have those kinds of opportunities. Fourteen. Nice number ten for Andy Murray. Nice serve out wide. Serve quite often in Deuce Court as of late, so that out wide serve now available. Yeah, a much better game. That will please him. Two games to one, four sets. Two sets to one. Nishioka leads two apiece. Early in the fourth, a reminder to uh, head to usopen.org. It's the uh, home of the official shop for the 2020 US Open merchandise. No fans here, but you can still get your hands on the official US Open merchandise this year. Solid on his overhead throughout this match. He's been throwing up a lot of duress lobs whenever possible. He has had the answers. Speed getting that ball through. Saw it coming. He's up to it quickly. Fourteen. Game. It's a business like hold of serve. Nishihito Nishioka ticking along nicely, 3 2. Set 2 3. No breaks yet in this fourth set. Love it. 
tempting fate for the Murray fans, but just looking at some of the matches, Murray has won from two sets down. He's done it a few times in his career. First 2006, it was Davis Cup against uh, Israel, against Andy Ram. At uh, Grand Slam level. Great tennis. Unbelievable. A couple of backhands there. No, 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 that no, angle he created on the first one. Great shot followed up by a fantastic ball up the line. Such good footwork to set this one up, make it easy on himself. Yeah, another eight occasions Murray's come back from two sets to love down at the majors. Between 2008 and most recently 2016 at the French. That was the last time he did it against Radek Stepanek. 7 5 in the fifth. Some of the other guys he's done it against uh, Gasquet a couple of times. And Roland Garris has done it against Jurgen Meltzer. That was. Uh, here at the US Open in 08, Victor Troitsky, Robin Haase, Fernando Vadasco, that was at uh, Wimby, 2013, the year he won. And then uh, Manorino, another Frenchman, and Stefan Aitman. Match in Paris, 2016, so knows what it takes. First of two great points saved. Key stage of this fourth set. Ashioka looking to pounce. Yeah. A nice couple of shots there. Good first yes. serve, save those break points. He should have a quick challenge on that ball up the line. Pretty amazing backhand overhead that Andy Murray had to hit right there to stay in that point. Possibly win it, we'll see. Why? Yes, it's just a forget, isn't it? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. a lot, obviously, at the start of the match. Three hours and 17 in, easy to forget. Murray's been through physically when he plays that kind of point, that kind of athleticism. That is massive. One of his biggest of the match. Three games on Just refusing to go away today. To say the least, that was a gigantic comeback in that game. They level it up three all. His chances, isn't he, Nishioka, in this fourth set? Four break points now. Converted none of them. Three apiece. 
Tricky ace, Ishioka. Decent amount of pace, 112. When he hit that teaser with so much spin, that flat went out wide, available. And it's number two, Nishioka behind uh, Kane Shikori, of course. Shikori's just slipped down the rankings a touch. 34 these days, Nishioka 49. Uchiyama 86 in the world, he's the Japanese number three. Uchi Sugita 88, so four in the top 100. Chatter even on a good ball. <laughs> We're seeing quite a bit of it right now, Lee. Another ace. Yeah. Two in a game. We've seen that twice this match so far, two in a game. It's a good serve, though. 116 is going to be enough pace if you can hit that flatter ball. That ball out wide with spin so well. Respect that serve first. Scoreboard moving. Yoshihito Nishioka again. He's not too far away now. Just a couple of games. It's early morning viewers to catch the end of this. Be big news though. Back in Japan if he does get the win today. Second serve there. Mika has her rank up there. Cincinnati. Oh, it's a fantastic story, isn't it? First title for four years, first as a, a mum, of course. Nice to see her back playing such high level tennis. Taking her a while. Game line. Game line. Game there for Andy Murray. He needs a few games like that. Let's see if you can turn that around and apply a little bit of pressure. Nishioka serve. Those look pretty good physically. Relieved it's not one of those hot, steamy New York days that uh, you often get at the US Open this time of year. Third. 
seven first this time. That might help Nishioka. Tail end of the third set, he was playing catch up, had to serve four, five, five, six, which he did uh, a good job of to force the break up. A little bit of scoreboard pressure on Andy. Dictate the few of these points, he can get a few free airs as well. Oh, well played. Wasn't that bad a volley? Fourteen. Fifteen. Quite a good ball here. She certainly likes a target. Gets his mark yet again up the line. Edging closer to the finish line, perhaps. A couple of points for 5 4 now. Relatively straightforward holds at just the right time for Yoshihito Nishioka. He's on the brick once more, 5 4. Trading two sets to one. Checking it was long, I think he was 30, looking at the line, wasn't he? Was satisfied in terms of width. He made that for a moment. Like that. The stage of the set where Murray will look to draw upon years and years of experience, these stages of matches, five set battles, the biggest events in the world. Oh, 
game. That would have been if he had made that return. Wow. Angle of the year. Five games to win, four sets. So he negotiates the tenth game. Be another title in this fourth set. Looks like Andy has smartly changed the racket out early. Have another broken string. Heading back to the uh, stringers, isn't it, by the looks of things. Couldn't have landed in a worse possible place. <laughs> Disappearing into the, the bowels of the stadium. Well done. Well done. Thirteen. I'm sure that Jamie will personally deliver that racket. I guess all the stringing, stringing guys over in. Armstrong Stadium, it's not too far away, but I'm not going to miss too much of this match. Get back as quickly as possible. Fourteen. Quite a few makeable strokes in this game. Still with 40 love for Nishioka. Routine hold, exactly what he was hoping for. And he's sure going to need six and one spot, five. just a game away, 6 5. So once more, Andy Murray has to negotiate a tricky service game. Trailing 5 6 in this fourth set, has to hold once more. Jamie Delgado still looking for the stringers. Good start there. We've seen the service percentage in this set 67%. We're looking for it to be over 60%. There we have it. That's a good pass there. Nice time for a little 30 love breather. There he is, Dougie's back. Racket delivered. That's why it's nice to have a 30 love breather there in that game. You gotta expect your opponent at the end of the match to hit a few good shots. Missed it. Can you believe it? I don't think Andy can. It really looked like he was setting up to take that volley inside out into the forehand side of Nishioka. He changed his mind. Tough 
enough error there. Yeah, it really is the stage of the match that could be very costly indeed. Ishioka now just two points away. If you're Andy Murray, that feels pretty good right there to get that freebie on the return. The second serve was a pretty good one, but makeable return from Ishioka. Yeah, I think he'd like to have that one back, wouldn't he? Ishioka, such a big point. Chance to take us into another breakup. Enough on the volley. Really looked like on that forehand volley, he could have put a lot more on it. Felt like maybe because he missed that volley, the point before just didn't hit it as hard. He should have too fast and too adept at taking that ball off the line with spin. Once again, just requires the two points for victory. Backhand, getting it down to Murray's toes. Advantage. And he's on the brink. Three hours, 41 minutes it's taken him. He's kept such a level head throughout, despite the efforts from the former champion. Tail end of the third set. Match point. Serve there. Shioko made that return quite a few times in this match, though. There's a lot riding on that last point. He's looking tense. Again, this time saving a match point along the way. Fourth set tie break. Just cannot shake this guy off. Set One zero. Andy Murray gets an early mini break. Should have gone a little too much on that backhand.
when you've been so close, isn't it? Previous game when you've had the match point, you feel like almost home and dry and then got to go again. Selection on that occasion. Oh a cheap one. Yeah, I'm questioning you too. <laughs> he had no reason to hit a drop shot there, and it really wasn't the best play. Yoshioka in front of the baseline when he hit it. Going on the attack. This is fantastic depth all the way through. He turned that great backhand cross court that we saw him set up the point with. Unrelenting on the forehands. Trying to really rip again. We saw him doing that third set tiebreaker. Taking control of these points, Andy Marie. Similar feel to the third oh, set breaker where Murray just Murray. raised his game at exactly the right time, brought a little more aggression. Certainly seen that sort of reaction emotionally from Nishioka. That's for the trainer, isn't he? As he uh, walks past the chair umpire. Presumably, if he does win the break, it will come at the end of the fourth set. I think we'll give Nishioka a boost right now. Needs one. Murray at 4 2. That's good. Cool. Got that out wide serve. 5 2. Murray. You see him go behind the show often in this fourth set. Quite a bit of success doing that. This time going into the open court. So quite a bit of authority on that forehand. Oh. 
Sanchez lost his way. The six two. When he needed Mara. to bring his best tennis. He's looking to pounce Let again. Go. Completely lost his way mentally, isn't he, at the moment? Yeah, Lee, that was really strange fighter language. I agree. It looked like he's just going through the motions. They're almost tank looking type of serve. But then a great point. <laughs> so. Second chance for Murray. Slips away. Six four. Sure here. No. Let's get back to six five with Nishioka serving. His opponent's so close to victory. Had a good look at that backhand, but waited for the ball to come to him. He could have gone forward a bit. A little footwork. That shot pretty easy on himself. Back in it. Pretty much four hours on the clock into a fifth. Love it. And this is what makes the major special, isn't it? When you you have it, just a different kind of challenge. You know, any other tour event, Nishioka would have been through by now. Four on four, job done. But it takes a different kind of effort, a different kind of persistence, level of quality to get it done over five sets, especially against a warrior like Murray. 15. Really that mental fortitude. We, we certainly know that Andy Murray has that in spades. Ishioka showing some strange body language at the end of that fourth set there. See so if he can get his things zipped up and back together. Just set. Play. Right there. Quick to come forward on that floater again. 13, 15. Yeah, it's an even bigger challenge now, isn't it, for Nishioka? We talked about it at the start of the fourth. He came close, of course, to winning this in straights. He was up a break in the third. If you're just joining us, up two sets to love and a break of serve. Fairly early in the third. It's a sweet backhand, but of course, having Third missed turn. the match point at the end of the fourth set, I mean, he didn't have too much say in that match point. In the end, it was a good point play for, played by Murray on serve. But as a player, tough to put that to the back of your mind in this kind of this kind of arena, this kind of match, this kind of stage. Yeah, it can be very tough. You, you, know, you have to kind of dig on what. What he's done well, and he should have played a very, very good tennis match. So, more of the same with that, I think. <laughs> Get a second look at this ball, end up being an extremely big one. Judging by the reaction, I think he's missed this, isn't he? Yeah, he's just pulled it wide. 
30 and 40. Murray has two challenges. Story of the match, Murray struggling on serve early in these sets. Break point. And he saves it. Just A lot of those break points down saved by the big, big serve, big forehand combo. Side again there, nice serve, 122. Quick to get around that forehand and execute. Stuck yet again. Out wide. Side out with the forehand. Wriggles out of danger. Gets the hold of serve to open up this deciding set. You've got him as favourite now? I, I, I think I said, Leah, if he gets it to a fifth set, that I'm definitely going to favour Andy Murray here, especially getting through that last game. That was a big one. To kind of get through after being down at break point. Shioka's in a little bit of uncharted waters here. Left us. Hands. Good move in, nice and quick, but what a volley. Extremely difficult volley to, to put away there at the net. See this nice underspin that he gets on the ball here from Andy Murray. Nice low little stab volley. Nishioka. Fifth and Out of the middle. Fifty. So first in this final set as well. That could be a factor. Start getting into the four, three, five, four, six, five territory. Thirty. Fifty. That was kind of a brick of a shot. It's the deadpan delivery as well, isn't it? <laughs> the it's a very big move back in. Just a chance to the It's the first overhead, I believe, that Ishioka missed, at least for a while. Thank you. Yeah. Too much spin on that one. Brother Jamie, he has caught side in the doubles, of course. Had a, a decent run last week, made the final last in the Southern Open with Neil Skutsky.
14. 14. 30 seconds. The you know, there's a fair few players, I think, scattered around the arena. We've seen some of them from time to time watching from the suites, of course. You get the sense that the players really enjoy watching Andy. You know, I, I think, A, from what he's achieved in the game, obviously, there's a, that level of respect, the, the type of tennis he plays, but it, it always seems to be entertaining, doesn't it? Well, he does a few things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sure. First of all, if you don't admire Andy Murray, there's nothing wrong with you. One game only, uh, uh, what he's accomplished in the game, but also for his perseverance in getting back out on the court, and, and also the kind of guy that he is. He's, he's well spoken, and, and again, and such a great ambassador for our sport. So I think there's a lot of interest in both seeing him back out there and, and applauding his effort. And you know, all the athletes out here would admit that that's been Herculean at the very least to achieve what he's done and getting back on the court. So. I would definitely be watching, but again, also, he is entertaining as well. The things that come out of his mouth often make me, me you know, laugh a little bit. Yeah, very watchable. And of course, without the fans, you can hear every single word these days, which uh, makes it even more that. entertaining. <laughs> getting underway tomorrow, incidentally. Jamie uh, in action shortly. <laughs> Just wonder where the belief levels are right now for Nishioka after such a commanding lead in this match. Must have taken a pretty big mental effort to get back on it in the fourth set, but do it all over again when you've come so close. Whether perhaps there's just that feeling that it's not going to be your day. 14, no. stages of this fifth so important for the Japanese player. Yeah, yeah. To clean the service gap. Murray leads two games to one. Every time Grand final Slam start. champion heads to his chair with the lead in this final set. 2-1. That's a nice serve there and much needed bid first serve there from Nishioka after missing that first ball. Starting to see some of those errors. Frustrations creep into this game from Nishioka. Trying to emulate his uh, fellow Brit yesterday. Fabulous performance by Cameron Norrie, British lefty who took out the ninth seed, Diego Schwartzman. Two sets down against uh, the Argentine, coming through seven, five, and fifth. And 14, Fitton. British player, so he was safely through yesterday. Dan Evans on courts. It's a bounce sure goal. On a set against uh, Chelsea, Bob Wild from Brazil. Brazil. Interesting. It's the possibility of four British players in the second round. Just another reminder to head to uh, the US Open app. Available in the App Store, Google Play Store. Track all the matches today. Check out the schedule for tomorrow when that's released. Stats, highlights, player news interviews.
defense that shot so well. And it's such fantastic footwork right there from Ishioka. Quickly cutting off that angle no, no. where he attempted to hit. Watch how quickly he comes forward on this replay here. Didn't have to do too much with that ball. Right, pretty close to the net. Bunt up the line, got it done. Start to the game. Well, he does find a way to come through this one with uh, Norrie and Edmund through yesterday. Dan Evans will be favourite to come through. Here's will be four British men into the second round of the Open. First time since 1974. That's a long time. Gives you a good idea of what an achievement that would be. Team shot there. The fact that Ishioka passes so well, though, continues to be present. Thirty. Very nice. Could be a big forehand, this. 30, 40. Positive energy there from Ishioka. It's not again exclaimed at the sky or the heavens. Four of 15 converted in this match. For the Japanese players hated a lot of chances. Second one of this fifth set. That's a double fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 13 for the match, Randy Murray. Final set. Well, that cost him. Nishioka in control again with the break. 3-2. Can he make it count this time? 3-2 with the break. drawing the error.
Okay, okay. Trav watching and getting some sun himself, although there's not much sun out right now. <laughs> Clouds will come back over a little bit. Expect of a Brit. Great hands on that one. 15 hands, that's right. Waiting back once more. Yeah. Just such a make of the forehand there. Fortunate start from Murray. That's an unbelievable ball. What a time for it. Three games on the final set. What a time indeed. Murray, moment of magic, this one. Inch perfect. I gotta say, you know, bring back up the fact that our players ready to go three out of five sets. Are these guys gonna be able to do it? We're at four hours and 21 minutes in this match, and these points have been pretty long. So I think the answer is yes. the longest uh, match of the week so far. Mentioned Steve Johnson's victory over Isna last night. That was three hours, 50 minutes. so far was uh, that Cam Norrie win over Schwartzman. It was uh, a minute shy of four hours. So the longest match of the week so far this week. This ball was indeed in. 15 left. In the showcase, two challenges run. It seemed almost too late for him to challenge that ball. Fourteen. Wrestles the momentum his way. It has Yoshihito Nishioka got in the tank mentally too. He must be thinking, what on earth have I got to do to shake this guy off? 
15 left. Two sets to love. Up a break. Almost did it at the end of the third set. Match point at the end of the fourth set. Up a break again midway through the fifth set. Setting. Will not lie down. Fourteen. Love. Tie break incidentally. We'll decide uh, the fifth set here at the U.S. Open. Cash and that drop shot there from Nishioka. Played it six all here in New York. All the four majors slightly different these days. 14, in terms of those, those final sets are decided. It's a regular break, of course. Australia introducing a slightly longer match tie break a couple of years ago. Side their final sets, but it's a regular breaker, six games all if we need it. Uh oh, what a shame! Worked so hard to stay in the point. I thought you were set up. Sometimes it's very, sometimes it can be difficult to go from that defensive position to the back to offense. So Andy smartly just putting that ball back in the court. Changed about the challenge when uh, Louise Angzel indicated that it's uh, missed a fair distance. Match that I did last night with John Isner. Steve Johnson went the distance, 7-6 in the fifth. I would not be surprised to see this final set. It's tiebreaker as well. Yeah, it's got that feel, isn't it? I agree. Line and Ishioka Ishioka took it.
15-15. This backhand just a little bit too flat. Chip away on the Murray serve near Shioka. The team is back. Opportunity. Daniel Murray just fight for his life here. Field Cotto trying to keep it positive. Putting one more ball back in play. Sometimes that's all you can do. Ishioka had controlled that rally. A little tougher to put that forehand up the line off of a slice, though. He obviously knows that. Two cents a piece, four a piece, 30 all. Time once more. This is just excellent tennis from Murray. Seizes the opportunity for the ripper up the line. There's the fire we expected to see. victory just a game away. 5-4, final set. Yoshihito Nishioka serving to stay in the match. 4-5. Sort of thinking the same thing. Why go for that much? A big return, yes, but not a winner. Oh. Back comes Murray. Good stuff there. Get into the rally. Hit a big return, even right 15. up the middle. Gain control of it with those forehands. Really execute well with that shot. Third, fourth, and now fifth set. Tits of us enjoying the show. It's one of those matches, isn't it? You notice the score on the scoreboard and you try and head over here and check out the tape under this. That's just fantastic depth. The very forehand applying the pressure in this game here. Two points away. to it and did get the racket through. A little bit of a push on that forehand. Just a point of go, ripping. Stick to what's working. 
obviously tough to do at the end of a match, even for Andy Murray. Expecting to see from Murray oh, such a smart Each player. Just dealing with that spin that takes you off the court. It looks like you can hit that ball up the line, but it's very difficult to hit it. Expecting to make this year work a lot harder. That's the old point. to the court, big targets, let it rip. Just like that, fantastic return, followed up by a backhand into a big part of the court. And uh, Murray. Match point. Oh, what a moment, what a victory this would be. And 39 minutes on court after all the injury problems, the heartache, the long road back. Can you finish the job? As he comes through that, down two sets to love. Found a break in the third, he saved a match point in the fourth, found a break in the fifth, and he's found a way to come through 6-4 in the fifth set. Come on! That is what it means, Jan Michael. We were wanting a bit more passion, weren't we, in the first couple of sets. He, <laughs> he got it spot on in the end. How on earth did he come through that? Well, we got it there. I'll tell you what, I'm feeling that one for him. That's, that's uh, emotional for me to watch as well. It's just amazing to get through a match like that where you're way down. It just didn't look, it didn't look good at all for Andy Murray in that third set down a break. And finding a way back in this match, finding his serve in that fifth set, Finding that forehand, but just staying tough throughout and really turning the fire up. I'm impressed with this man right here, Andy Murray. Just a great, great tennis match. Great champion.